fingers seem slightly different than the others. If I want to point at something, I'll use my own index finger. Yikes! You fool. Hey, it's you! Yes, it is I. You seem to show up whenever I'm in trouble. Why? Who can fit? Perhaps it's because we share an unspoken magical bond. Perhaps the fates have intertwined our destiny. Or maybe I've got an unbreakable five-game deal with Lucas R. In any event, I'm here to help. How can I assist you, Guybrush Reboot? The cards have foretold that you seek direction. How can I help Elaine win her re-election? That depends. What do you know about politics? Absolutely nothing. Then, short of stuffing the ballot box, I don't see how you can help her. Great! Better get a stuffing. But if you get caught, the Melee Town Council will string you up, stuff you with crawdads, and let pirates whack you like a piñata. I don't think I like that idea. Perhaps it would be best if you steered clear of the election. Actually, I think I can figure out what to do next all by myself. Very well. My mystic eye sees precious time wasted in idle chit-chat. What would you like to know? Who's this Charles L. Charles guy? And where does he get off trying to take my wife's job? I'm a voodoo priestess, not a political pundit. But I do think it. Charles L. Charles gives me the willies. What politician doesn't? True. Didn't you relocate to the island of Puerto Pollo? I did, but I sensed that I was needed here on Mele. Besides, the incessant plucking on Puerto Pollo was driving me mad. Do you know anything more about the mysterious foreign investor? Only that he comes from a far away exotic place called Sydney. Sydney? That sounds like the name of a kid who gets beat up a lot in school. You've helped me so much over the years, and I still don't know your name. My name is not important. I'd like to talk about more important matters. Like what? I don't need any more of your enigmatic hoodoo right now. As you wish, Guybrush. I'll be here later if you need me. got us a signed contract. Well, let's see. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ah, yes. Good. Aha! Uh -huh. Um, Carla, do you even know what half of this stuff means? Not a clue. But look, it says cushy in the title. Well, all right then. All right, Threefoot. You got yourself a clue. I guess you are an important person. Right this way, Mrs. Marley. Let me show you to your ship.
This is the Dainty Lady. It's pink. You've obviously got a seaman's eye for nautical details. But, but it's pink. Now, there are a couple of regulations that I'm required to explain to you. First, bring it back in the same or better condition as it is now. Second, life preservers are to be worn by all crew and passengers at all times. Finally, this vehicle is to be used for official business only, so no joyriding. Can I go now? Well, I'd love to hang out here on the docks with you all day. Actually, that's a lie. I can't stand to be near you. Bye. Oh, and enjoy your voyages on the Dainty Lady. It's pink. That the sheep? It doesn't look very seaworthy. At least it doesn't smell like monkeys. Are you guys ready to go? I can. Whatever. No. Don't make me slap you, Otis. Fine. Let's get this over with. Then we're off to Luker Island in search of high adventure and a legally binding restraining order. It will all end in tears. Mark my words. Mr. Cheese, shouldn't we steer away from those dark, portentous clouds? Nonsense, Captain. A little rain never hurt anyone. <laughs> wow! Mommy! Batten down the ashes! Shorten sail! Clear the scuppers! Drain the bilges! Get your hands off me! Sorry, uh, baby. There you go, Mr. Marley. Lucre Island. Ah, Lucre Town. The largest urban center in the Tri-Island area. Thanks, Mr. Cheese. Uh, next time you think we can get here with a little less drama? Oh, no. There's not going to be a next time, is there? Better not be. Once was enough. Okay, I'm going into town. You guys stay here and watch the ship. Oh, sure. I see how it is. The captain gets to make all the decisions. <laughs> 